Hey everyone, welcome to another session of Mommy Teo Teaches Math. Our topic for today is calculating the present and the future or maturity value of a simple and compound interest. Example 1, if you deposited 5000 in an account that pays 2.25% simple interest, how much will you have in 5 years? So we are looking for the future value and the formula is F equals P plus I sub S. But of course, we do not have I yet. So therefore, we will be computing for I first. And the given R, P equals 5,000. R equals 2.25%. Changing it to decimal, that will be R equals 0 0.22, 0 0.0225. And of course, T is equal to 5. Okay, so we have I sub S is equal to... 5,000 times point zero two two five times 5. Okay. Yeah. So that will be I sub S is equal to what are we going to get? It's 562.50. Five hundred sixty-two fifty. Getting, of course, the future value. The future value will be five thousand plus five hundred sixty-two fifty. You will have five thousand five hundred sixty-two fifty. Okay. Example number two. Find the maturity value and the compound interest if 10,000 is compounded annually at an interest rate of 2% in 5 years. Okay, let's so identify again the given. P equals 10,000. R equals 2%. So that one is equal to 0 0.02. And then your T here is 5. And then your M is 1, since this one is annually. N is equal to MT. So that will be 1 times 5. N is equal to 5. And then I is equal to 0 0.02 divided by 1. So that is I equal 0 0.02. The question here is find the maturity value. Therefore, this one is asked f is equal to p 1 plus i raised to n so f is equal to 10,000 1 plus 0 0.02 raised to 5 so f is equal to 10,000 1.02 raised to 5 Again, you press this one and then raise it to 5. You will be getting how much? You will be getting 11,000. 0, 0, 0.81. Okay. So this is the maturity value. Couple number 3. What is the present value of 50,000 due in 7 years if money is worth 10% compounded semi-annually? Let's identify the given. The F is given, which is 50,000. The R is given, which is 10%. And this one is equivalent to 0.10. M is given semi-annually, that is 2 is given that is equal to 7 years. So therefore, we can solve for n which is 2 times 7. So this is 14. n is 14. And then for your i, you have 0 0.10 divided by 2. So i is equal to 0 0.5. Okay. That is 
0 0.05 sorry 0 0.05 now the formula is f is equal to p 1 plus i raised to n let's substitute now the given this is 50,000 equals p the one that we are solving 1 plus 0 0.05 raised to 14. Oh, so this is 50,000 equals P 1.05 raised to 14. How do we solve for P? You divide both by 1.05.14. 5 raised to 14 rather raised to 14 so this will be cancelled this is p 50,000 divided by 1.05 raised to 14 how do you do that using scientific this is 50,000 divided by open 1.05 and then this p and then this p and then close and you will be getting there 41,135.12. That's the present value. Or the number present. four. Angel invested a certain amount at 8% simple interest per year. After six years, the interest she received amounted to 48,000. How much did she invest? So the question here is, what is the principal amount? The interest is given. It's 48,000. Of course, we will be using simple interest here. That one. And then the R is 8%. So that will be equal to 0 0.08. And then our T is but it's as we are looking for the P. Okay, so this is equal to I is equal to P R T. So I is forty eight thousand is equal to P. That is our unknown. Or what is missing? So that will be 0 0.08 times 6. So 48,000 equals P times 0 0.08 times 6 is 0 0.48. Okay. Divided by 0 0.48. Divided by 0 0.48. You will be getting there. 48,000 divided by 0.48 and that is 100,000. Okay. Example so number five. Mateo's Garden needs to purchase new gardening materials. The partners in the company borrowed 80,000 at 7% interest compounded quarterly from a credit cooperative. If they paid 10,000 in interest, what was the total number of compounding periods? The unknown here is the N. This is the total number of compounding periods. So we will be looking for N here. And these are the given. Principal is 80,000 and then R is 7% or that is 0 0.07. I sub C or the interest is 10,000. The M is 4 since this one is quarterly. And then your I is R divided by M, 0 0.07 divided by 4. You will have 0 0.0175. Now, you have I sub C is equal to F minus P. We will be looking for the value of F first before, of course, applying this formula so i sub c is ten thousand is equal to f minus the principal is eighty thousand 
Okay. How are we going to solve for the F? So that is 10,000 plus 80,000. I just transpose it equals F. Transpose. So that will be F is 90,000. Okay. So after this, I can now use this formula. That is 90,000 is equal to 80,000 1 plus 0 point 0 point 0 0.0175 raised to n this is what we are looking for how are we going to solve this First, you divide both by 80,000. Okay, 80,000. This will be cancelled and then cancelled. This will be cancelled and cancelled and cancelled and cancelled. You will be getting there 1.9 divided by 8 is 1.125. This is 1.0175 raised to n. How are we going to solve for n? Take note that you will be using here a calculator, a scientific calculator. How? You take the log of both sides. 1 to 5 log of 1.0175 raised to n. And then this is log of 1.125. This is applying the power law. This is N log of 1.0175 dividing both by log of 1.0175 log of 1.0175 and here is equivalent to 6.8. That's the number of compounding periods or rounding up to the nearest whole number. This will be seven. That's it.